Hello everyone, and welcome to Global Scholarships, your go-to channel for all things related to studying abroad. In this episode, we will look at the postgraduate admission procedures of Johns Hopkins University, also known as Johns Hopkins, Hopkins, or simply JHU. In our first video, we showed you a brief preview of Johns Hopkins University and their undergraduate admission procedures. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure to check out the link in the description below to find it. We go over all the procedures and requirements for incoming undergraduate applicants. Once you've watched that video, or only need postgraduate admission procedures for Johns Hopkins University, then keep watching until the end. Our first step is going to Google and searching for Johns Hopkins University. Find the right search result which should be the one with the text, Johns Hopkins University Home. In the University homepage, you can find an Apply button on the right side of the screen. Find Postgraduate Admissions and click on More About Postgraduate Admissions. In this page, you will find the different graduate schools Johns Hopkins University has. Choose the graduate school you think has the program you are interested in. Since there are multiple choices available, we will look at some of them for you. If you are interested in International Affairs, International Studies, International Economics, International Finance, and International Public Policy, click on School of Advanced International Studies. You will be redirected to their dedicated website where you can apply for a master's or doctoral degree program. We will first look at their master's degree admission process, so click on master's degrees admission. Since we're looking at these as an aspiring international student, click on non-US citizen applicants. You will have three options of study location, but let us choose Washington DC since we are assuming you want to study in America and in their main campus. Once you've clicked on Washington, D.C., simply choose one of the programs you are interested in. Click on Apply to the MIR in Washington, D.C., and in this page, you will see their admission deadlines and requirements. Now, let us go over them one by one. Your first requirement is the general online application. You can file your initial online application by clicking on the Apply button on the upper right side of the website. This redirects you to a login page. Since you are a first-time applicant, create an account, then file your initial application. Then, the next requirement is the $85 US application fee. The next one is your resume or curriculum vitae. And the next ones are an analytical essay, statement of purpose, transcripts of record, two letters of recommendation, and English language exam scores. For the analytical essay, this is usually a 600 to 800 word essay on a certain topic assigned by the admissions committee. For the statement of purpose, this is usually a 600 to 800 word essay explaining your intent and reason for applying in Johns Hopkins University. Additional questions or prompts may be asked by the admissions committee, so be prepared for that. GRE and GMAT scores, as well as an interview, are optional information or requirements you can send to help your admission chances. As written here, international applicants are recommended to submit their applications early as incomplete applications are not considered. So, please plan your application long before the admission deadlines. Here are further information you can read up on about your application. Be sure to read these thoroughly as they can help clear up confusions in your application process. For doctoral programs admissions, simply click on the designated link text. You will see two doctoral programs available for you, but let's just look at one of them. Here, you can quickly see that what it contains are the same as with the master's admissions page. Basically, their application procedures and requirements are the same. Now, let us look at Krieger School of Arts and Sciences for those interested in arts, humanities, and natural and social sciences. Go to their website, 
and click on the Apply drop-down button on the upper bar and click on How to Apply. Here, you will immediately see the requirements. There are less requirements here, but there are still similarities with School of Advanced International Studies. Here, you can see that you will need an unofficial transcript of records. These should show the courses you have and are currently going through. Next are letters of recommendations, statement of purpose, and application fees. More information about international applicants can be found above. Simply go back to the Apply button on the upper bar and click on International Students. Here are further requirements for international applicants. First is the credential evaluation of academic work. They recommend you get a professional credential evaluation from One Earth, WES, or ECE. This is a separate document from your academic transcripts. Next one is English Proficiency Exam Scores, which should be in TOEFL or IELTS. If you click here, you can find their minimum English Proficiency Scores. TOEFL scores should be at least 100 for the internet-based test, 250 for the computer-based test, or 600 for the paper-based test. IELTS scores should be at least a band score of 7. There are international applicants from specific countries that are exempted from this requirement, and you can find them here. If you are from one of these countries, you can request for a waiver to be accepted. And that's it. That's for Krieger School of Arts and Sciences. The next graduate school is the Kerry Business School. However, their application website seems to be unavailable right now. Instead, let's go to School of Education. Click on School of Education. Scroll down and find International Students Admission. Here, you can see different drop-down tabs. The requirements are basically the same, which are an upline application with your name, transcript of records, supporting documents, and statement of purpose. You can also find their admission deadlines here. Next, an international credential evaluation is also required just like in Krieger's School of Arts and Sciences. Next are English language proficiency scores, which you can find right here. The last tab is for students requesting for an F1 visa. However, in here they say that the School of Education cannot provide F1 visa sponsorship for specific programs which you can read here. For those eligible for sponsorships, you will need to show proof of your student funding. More information can be found right here, but these are for students or applicants with special cases. If you did not find what you are looking for so far, Read these carefully. Those are three of the graduate schools found in Johns Hopkins University. There are more graduate schools for you to choose from, but their application procedures are roughly the same as the three we have discussed. Just follow our instructions for the previous three schools and carefully look for the resource page about their international student admission. And that's it. We hope this video helped you in your journey as an international student and applicant in John Hopkins University. If you have any requests, suggestions, questions, recommendations, or additional information you want us to know, you can comment down below or message us on Facebook. If you found this video helpful, drop down a like and subscribe to our channel for more information on international education. And if you're looking for more comprehensive guides and scholarships to study abroad, don't forget to check out our website, globalscholarships.com. So, see you on the next one!